Hey gang, welcome to Hex to Hex. So, I finally started playing my first OCS, Tunisia. And it's taken me two nights to play the first half of the first turn, the Allies phase. And while this is probably a little too soon, I still wanted to talk about this because learned some good things. So most of the units in the fight here, this is probably the most important thing, are battalion. All right. So, and they are considered one half of a regimental equivalent. So that means if you have two units in a combat and you take a loss of one, you're going to lose both those units. So I had moved into position to do three attacks. And I did my first one down here, and look what I have left. I artilleried this unit down here and DG'd him, which was just wonderful because I got, end up, he ends up with a minus one DRM when you get into the fight. But I took a loss of one, and he took an option, so he didn't have to do anything. Because both my units got eliminated. Okay, lesson learned. More troops. Now granted, you'll be able to rebuild them things, and you really need to get better odds. Okay, so I had artillery these both of these up here and got DG'd, but I'm not about to make attacks there because I'm not willing to risk that. Alright, so supply. I was able to handle the supply. I fought pretty efficiently for the first time about how you remove so many tokens or you know one supply point equals four tokens. So you can see there's an example right there. So this guy, this 3T used to be a one like that thing on the left, but he burnt one token. Um, I air transported. I have some transport units in there, which you can bring into his troops if I need them. And I have some bombers in there. But I have transported some supply down here to this location. It was an airfield that we captured. I like, kind of like how during the movement you can just you can go all over the place, but you still need to finish a unit before you do that. Well, that light is gonna just get in the way. Get you turned off here. Hey, anybody know what this game is? Huh? Quick blur. Guess? Can you guess? What is it? What's that game? Can you guess? Nobody? Okay. So. I started moving all the allies forward because it, you need—it's got to be a quick strike. But now I know that I need to get this. I would almost reset this now that I've got a, a much more efficient understanding. Um, and like I say, this is my first play with OCS, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I played half a turn, and I'm already in love with it. And I've got so many more to play. Can't wait now. And I hope to eventually just get one of the big monsters set up and just play the whole thing, you know, from start to finish. You know, does anybody do that anymore except for Callendale? So uh, I did some air sweep, fighter sweeps because I have three American and two British uh, fighter fighter uh, units. And I went over here and I did, I did, <laughs> I didn't take him out, but I flipped, there's an Italian piece of junk here somewhere. Where's he at? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. There, I beat that Italian unit down. All right. So he's pretty much nothing. But he, they can be rebuilt. But this good old ME-109 over here, I went after him four times. And guess what? Or I went after him three times. And I went after the other one down here one time. And I lost all of them. And two of my aircraft units got hit. And they all went inactive, so now I'm going to end up having to refit them if I want to use them for anything. Um, the aircraft sacks, the fighter sweep is pretty simple. Okay. So then I had air missions assigned to do barrage in all of these. And those two ME 109s, since I didn't knock them inactive during the fighter sweeps, because they won all of them, they were able to go. Now, look, you notice there's. Put it this way, five bomber units went into action over here, right? None of them got to do their barrage because of those 
two units of ME 109s, took care of them, sent them back, sent them packing. So, Allied Air Power, even though they have more, they really didn't do anything. And now the Germans, they have all of their, they've got bombers here and tactical bombers and whatnot. So they're going to, you know, they're going to get to apply their stuff here in their turn, I'm sure. And those bombers are out in, what is that, the uh, Sicily box, which is close. All right, so, so now I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to build up, I'm going to have to get these, all these other British units forward. Um, keep the reinforcements, get them forward too. I was going to go down here and take these two airfields down here, which I had to divert supply so that I could do that to keep them in transport or in um, trace supply. All right, so I'm going to try to bump those airfields and then get back up and fight. And I mean that, well, the Germans have, they have planes everywhere. This airfield's down here, but I moved off the map so I can put my rules book right here in front of me when I'm playing because I've got it. Yeah, I got the magnifying glass too to see some of these dark numbers on some of these dark counters. All right, so really not much to, to tell you. Um, keep your units in supply. Um, no extenders. I've had, I don't know if there are any extenders in this one, in this scenario, if you can use them. So remember your supply trace is the use of truck movement points, and it's five. Okay, so remember that. Uh, I don't have any headquarters yet on the board. So, you know, when you, when you throw supply from a headquarters, you use the throw range and then whatever type of unit it is, whether it's leg or truck or mechanized, uh, use that movement, um, rating or that movement type. Um, and like I say, it's five truck movement points, uh, to a supply depot. So from the unit. And of course you have organic. I do have two organics on here. The 78th Infantry and the 6th Armored, which is underneath that artillery piece, which is probably going to get smacked in the face, I would think, on the German turn here. All right, so lesson learned. Um, don't get that supply too close if you don't have to. So Now granted, when you lose them, you're going to, you know, you'll end up getting the, the, the transport points back to be reused. But, uh, Still, they take supply from you and whatnot. You don't want to do that. All right. Uh, artillery is expensive. You do a barrage, all right? Because if you're just going to fire three strength points. Now, granted, I was lucky because all of mine worked. But three, just using three artillery strength points is two tokens of supply to do it. Um, air, uh, air, naval barrage, there's no, you don't have to use any supply for that. Um, I have very minimal mechanized units, but the ones that I, I that were in mobile in their in their movement mode, I had to burn fuel for them. Um, and there was no multi-unit formation. And you know, I got to read on that too because none of those markers. I, I don't think those markers. I don't. I think you 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 deploy them regardless because I don't think they're not considered like combat units. I think it's just to mark your multi-unit formation. So I probably need to put the 78th Infantry's uh, uh, multi-unit marker and the 6th Armor's multi-unit marker. I need to get them on the board. I, I didn't do that. I need to do that. Uh, and I think I, with the Germans, I got to check theirs too because I don't think I have theirs on here. Okay, so my first opinion of OCS and that's just after reading the rules and highlighting and underlining. Granted, you're not going to remember everything until you do it. But as I started to play this first phase, yeah, I had to do a lot. That's why it took me two nights. Do a lot of checking, mostly on how to bring the air in from the off boxes from like Algiers, okay? Which turned out to be pretty simple because you got these little white boxes here that say how many hexes it is to fly um, to Algiers to this location, okay? And then from there... It's, you know, however many other hexes. Uh, movement, pretty simple. If you're going to move on their movement mode side and they, they happen to have vehicles, you got to pay that fuel or they just trudge off on foot, which is what happened down here. Uh, combat and artillery barrages, make sure you, you, you spend the supply points before you execute either of those. Um, and the air stuff, your air missions too, when you do air missions, like I said, I did fighter sweeps, 
So air missions, you have it. There's a movement segment where you do it, and it's just like you know when you're doing movement with your units, you just you move one over to the find the active find the aircraft you want to attack, move your unit over there, do your combat, resolve it, and then go on to the next one. So you can send another air unit, in, which is what I did. I think I tried to hit that spit the uh, ME109s over here. I think I tried to hit them three times, see if I could get lucky, and I didn't. Um. So yeah, that's uh, all I can say is get better odds. Get stronger numbers in there when you fight these uh, Germans, because you know you'll get surprise. Uh, uh, that was the one they too. I didn't get any surprise in the one attack I had down here, so there were no column shifts, so that kind of hurt. All right, but we're going to move on to the German turn and see how that pans out. So, like I say, so far first impression, love it. And this is an older one. This is not even Tunisia two; it's Tunisia one. But so far, I love it, and I'm going to keep playing more. And then I'll sneak in this one over here sometime soon. Anybody know what that game is yet? Anybody figured it out yet? Come on, somebody knows what that game is over there. It's just one map of three. Oh, sorry. Can't let you see that too fast. I'll get around to playing. That's an old one. And I'll get around to playing that one soon. All right, so Tunisia one. Uh, we're going to play some more. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Or give me a thumbs up for a vote of confidence to keep going. Because <laughs> this, this system's very, very detailed. But I'm going to tell you what, it's, so far it's very, very awesome. Now I'm going to see what the Germans can do. And you know the routine. Hey, subscribe. Hit that bell to get notified when I'm doing something new. All right. All right, let me get after this. We'll get back to you all soon.